Right then, hello and welcome back to another first look at the latest patch release for Automobilista 2. We are now on version 1.3.1.0 and boy is this a good update that they've released. Compared to the last time with the Volkswagens, this one is phenomenal. It is really, really good. You get two new tracks with it and you get, of course, the Gen 2 Champ cars or the cart machines. We have Cleveland and we also have Watkins Glen. Now, these machines as well are incredibly good fun, but they are very sensitive to damage. So just for the case of this video, I've turned the damage off completely. Um, so, yeah, these are the Gen 2s, which are the 1998 Champ cars. Uh, they are going to be releasing Gen 1 and Gen 3 later on. Gen 1, I believe, is 95 or 96. And Gen 3 is going to be the 2000 machines before everything went into liquidation and the series basically became non-functional really um so you can tell what the cars are you got the lola ford you have the reynard ford the reynard honda reynard mercedes reynard toyota and the swift ford um they don't have the real sponsors on them of course because uh, some of them were cigarette sponsors like players uh, but you can tell what the cars are and what drivers they were this is of course the late great greg moore's car number 99 and this is the one Juan pablo montoya drove i believe and uh, jimmy vassar I think. Um, well, I, they did in 1999. I'm not sure about 98. I didn't actually catch that series that year. Uh, but I do remember 99 very well, in, including, unfortunately, the last race of the series, which I watched live on Eurosport. And my word, what happened to Greg Moore was horrific, but we won't go into that. His memory will live on in these uh, games, I suppose. Um, so, yeah, this is just going to be a quickie five lap event around Cleveland. Like I said, I've not driven around here before, but... Uh, yeah, it should be good fun. Uh, it's quite flat, very bumpy, you know, the usual. Uh, they are going to be releasing another track soon in the next couple of days or weeks as well, which is going to be Road America. That track is a bit like Marmite. You either love it or you hate it. Me, personally, I'm on the fence. I would have much preferred Road Atlanta to be included in the American pack. But who knows? That may be released later on, maybe next year. Who knows? But um, yeah, Road Atlanta, absolutely love that circuit. It's absolutely wonderful. So uh, what do these cars sound like? Well, I was bitching and moaning about the VWs, how they sounded really crap. These ones sound amazingly good. They are very good. You got the, the gearbox whine when you let off the throttle. They are just fantastic. Anyway, enough waffling on. Now, as I mentioned, I will suck around this course because I've not raced around here before. But this is all new territory. Oh, late braking. This is a hairpin. Tires are going flying. Oh my word, the feedback in the steering wheel is like a, a go-kart. It's trying to wrench its way out of your hands. But that is a, a good thing. That is not a uh, critique that is good you can see the steering wheel is actually wobbling trying to rip its way out of my hands oh aggressiveness of the ai is to be expected the only thing i wish is that they had the licenses for the driver names so you could see yourself racing against Jimmy Vassar, Adrian Fernandez, Juan Montoya, Greg Moore, Alex Tagliani, you know, the usual suspects that were in the series. But I can't wait for them to release the oval circuits as well. They're going to be releasing some good old ovals in uh, future updates. So uh, we can really stretch these cars' legs then. this track is way too flat that is my only critique about this track you can't see the corners coming up properly because of how flat it is but you know give it time i'll get used to the circuit in the end oh they're very slow through the s's Is that Mark Blundell alongside or 
whoever was in that car. No. They keep up with you on the straights, but they're a bit naff going through the corners. Very slow. Oh, he's back again. Come and have a go if you think you're hard enough, mate. Come on. Well, I don't think we're doing too bad, seeing as I've never driven around reindeer before. Of course, with AI, it's different. If you're racing a reindeer with proper human opponents, then it's completely different. Now, myself and Jay did test these cars last night. Uh, around Watkins Glen, what are you doing? And, uh, yeah, they were really good around there. And the GTEs as well, they were really good. Wanted to boost my uh, ranking a little bit. Got two laps to go, we're up to eighth place. I do have a critique though. The hot air balloons on the side of the track don't move. They're just stationary. They are stuck in stasis. Do look good though. Starting to get the hang of this track now. Oh, the cars, they stick so well. I've said this a couple of times on some of the cars, but they stick like shit to a blanket. They are wonderful to drive. They just might not look it because I suck at driving, as everyone knows. But my god, these are fun. In fact, I would say they are probably better than the GTE machines from the uh, previous release of the American pack. Let's see if we can at least get a top five. So I get a little bit of understeer from the front. Dive up the inside of you, please. Oh, you're slow. And there we go. That is not actually... Once you get used to the track layout, it is not too bad. It is actually quite enjoyable. It is li literally a glorified kart circuit. Um, Go-kart circuit. Um, but yeah, Cleveland. That is uh, Cleveland shown off in all of its glory. Uh, next we have... Uh, there's two versions of Watkins Glen, which uh, I will get to in just a moment. So I'll complete my cooldown lap and then we'll try out Watkins Glen. Right, next up then is Watkins Glen. There's four different layouts you can choose from. You have the Watkins Glen GP. This is the one with the boot without the bus stop chicane. The inner loop, of course, it only has the bus stop chicane. Or you have the NASCAR version, either with the chicane or without. So just to make it a bit more authentic, we're going to use the uh, one with the bus stop chicane. And uh, we're going to try the inner loop first, and then we'll try the regular circuit afterwards. Champ car never drove or raced around Watkins Glen. Uh, so, yeah, this is just uh, an add-on circuit for the, uh, just for the hell of it. Put the laps down to three, because we don't really want to do another five-lap event, because this track is a lot longer than Cleveland. 3.4 miles. And, yeah, this is uh, the track that myself and Jay raced around last night just to test out the GTEs and, of course, the Champ cars as well. And they handle exceptionally well. So it should be uh, good fun how they handle. The formation lap, though, the, uh, the the rolling star, is a little bit suspect. Um, the cars do like to bash into the wall a little bit. And I did notice a bug with Cleveland as well, is that the tyre barriers on the exit of the final corner before the last chicane, is they, you can go through them. They're not solid. So, yeah, there we go. Anyway, 
Watkins Glen. Now, at least I have raced around Watkins Glen before. And off we go for a three lap sprint. Excuse me. Excuse me, you're pushing me a bit wide there, sir. Oh. Pushing me very wide. It's alright, I've got damage turned off. It's all good. And I'm very surprised at how fast you can take this bus stop chicane as well. It is so good going through there. Excuse me. Thank you. One thing that I really like about this game as well is that when you set the date to uh, real time, the sun is lower in the sky, the trees don't have any leaves on them, they're all threadbare. Just little touches like that. I really like this game for its aesthetic touches. And there we go, that's a lap of the Glen. Now all we need is um, some 80s NASCARs to race around here. That'd be cool. Stock car classics, that's what they should call them. Well, we're in the draft. Oh, come on, you're going too slow. Come on, move out the way. Oh. Oh, thank God for that runoff area. we go. Well, that was to be expected, wasn't it? So. Oh, just listen to the cars as they fly past. God, they sound good. I'm still getting used to the inner loop. Because I've not raced around the full GP layout of Watkins Glen, only the NASCAR equivalent. So I'm still getting used to how some of the corners are and what gear to take them in, but... Oh, come on, change gear, please. Still a little graphical glitches now and again where the camera looks like it flicks as it did there. It was like a little blip. Oh, speaking of cameras, they do have some really nice views as well, like old camera angle views. Once we get past this bus stop, we'll get through. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm a donkey on the edge. I don't want to take any prisoners this time. But yeah, let's have a look at the other camera, shall we? Got the good old nose cone camera. We've got normal in-car, which I don't really like. I like the one with the brain bucket. But you got this camera view, which I really like, but you really couldn't race with this view. If you could, then you're very, very lucky. Or very talented, one of them. So, yeah, didn't do well in this race, but 
I didn't really expect to. I don't know this layout that well. So 20 seconds position is all we're going to get. Which is fine. Excuse me. Around you go. And boom, we're going to say hello to the fans. So yeah, that is the inner loop of Watkins Glen. Now we're just going to have a quick gander at the regular Watkins Glen. And uh, see what that's like. And here we are then for another three lap sprint around the uh, regular Watkins Glen. Or the NASCAR version. Let's see if we can get better than 20 second place this time. A little bit of frame lagging there, but that's to be expected. Ooh. Yeah, just click the wall, someone's gone wide. Not sure how fast to take this corner. I'm sure I could take it a lot faster than I usually do, but still getting used to how these cars feel and how they react around certain tracks, but there you go. Putting up a little bit more of a fight this time. It's not going to end well. Well, we survived, surprisingly. Oh, someone's going very slow, excuse me. No. And that is why I have the damage turn off, because that would have ripped my wheels off otherwise. Not the most tidiest of entries into the bus stop. And there we go. Very short, very sweet. And, well, we got up to 17th place. That's not too bad, I suppose. So, yeah, there you go then. That is Cleveland, Watkins Glen, and the Champ Cars as well. I'll be doing a follow-up update video once the other gens of the Champ Cars are released. Gen 1 and Gen 3. And, of course, Road America as well. But, there you go. That is it for now. And I will leave it here, and I will see you all next time then for the latest update, or the next update, in Automobilista 2. So thank you very much for watching as always, and I will see you all next time. Take care, stay safe, see you then. Bye for now.